Hey, North Texas, you know, there is always something to do, something fun to do, like the Plano Comedy Festival here in town. This is going to be happening uh, again for its sixth year from October 22nd until the 29th. Yes, that means a week long event of over 100 comedy acts. It's amazing. Joining us here on the Carol, the afternoon news is Brittany Goss. And that's a lot of entertainment. <laughs> Yes, it is a lot of entertainment, but it is so fun. It's a big comedy binge. And um, yeah, it's it's anyway, it's just a lot of fun. We have entertainers from all over uh, the United States coming. Um, and then also a lot of our local talent will be involved as well. So it's it's, um, it's a fun thing to do. Do comics like doing these kinds of festivals because they get to see other other acts as well? Because I'm guessing they're fans of their contemporaries. <laughs> Yes. So uh, comics do like uh, doing festivals because it's a great opportunity to network and meet comics from all across the country because they can bring about um, opportunities to go perform in other states. So it's pretty cool. Not every comic likes doing it, but there are there, there are quite a few that do love doing it. There's so. got to be something <laughs> special about coming back for your sixth year. How has this event grown from your first couple of years of organizing it? Yeah, so uh, it has grown substantially since the very first year. I performed in the first year in 2018, and Wes Corwin is um, the person that started the Plano Comedy Festival. And uh, we were in um, a restaurant over in Plano, and we had we were also over in another. Uh, it was I think I believe it was the Art Center Theater, um, and it was a small theater. Um, but um, and we had maybe six shows and now we're over 24 shows now um last year we were i think between 30 to 40 shows so it has grown substantially um we were we used to be four days a four-day festival and this year we expanded to eight um so it's just a lot of entertainment jam-packed into one week <clears throat> are, there, are there certain comics that don't like to follow other particular kinds of comics yeah, I would say that everybody might have their preference. Um, it could be a, a different style, um, you know, or maybe somebody that's uh, more seasoned than them. And, uh, you know, and so that really puts people in a position to uh, up their game in a show. Um, but yeah, so I would say yes. But there might be a clean comic that doesn't want to go after a more blue comic um, or vice versa. So. But everybody has their preferences. I love that this is a family friendly event. I, I think as we become adults, sometimes we forget there are some com uh, comics that are good for the entire family. Um, yes. So people who are just looking for something different to do, they're interested in this. We've had a lot of, you know, hard news uh, lately just to kind of get a laugh in and relax. Um, can you share with us how it all works? You know, is are there yes. different venues? Are there different stages? Is, you know, how how will this happen? Yeah, so this year we decided to um, use only two venues. Uh, our The main venue that we're using is the Plano House of Comedy, which is located in the shops at Legacy. It's uh, one of the newer clubs in the area. It's state of the art. It's amazing. And uh, the other venue that we're going to use, and it's only for one show, is uh, Sambuca 360. We're going to have our Best of Fest comedy brunch there. And um, last year we were, usually we are across several stages, but because we expanded to um, eight days, we decided to, you know, kind of bring it back in a little bit and focus on the eight days. And then later we'll expand again. And as far as venues, um, but for uh, this year, um, we have something for everybody. So you're mentioning family friendly. Uh, we have a free family friendly show that takes place on Saturday, um, the 28th. And it has uh, comedy. I mean, it's got stand up. It has um, improv, it has magic, um, it's for all ages and it's free. Um, and then our other events, so we have, you know, something for everyone and we have a lot of stand up. Um, usually our earlier shows are, you know, probably around PG 13. And then the later it goes, you know, you may have a more blue or dark show later in the evening. Um, so, uh, let's see what else we have a roast battle a roast battle tournament which is so fun it's one of my favorite things on the festival um and then of course the best of fest comedy brunch we also have a variety show which has different types of comedy uh whether it's magic or um sketch characters 
Um, and then alternative types of comedy. We have somebody uh, who's amazing. He does celebrity impersonations. Um, so it's pretty cool. And we have some um, TikTok stars that are on our variety show as well. Uh, they're on Instagram and TikTok and uh, they play different characters. So it's pretty cool. <clears throat> it really is. How is North Texas as far as being a base of comedy? Because one thing- I love that. Every Everyone knows that you know New York and LA is where where they go when they're seasoned. But mm -hmm. there's nothing like seeing someone for the first time, and you get right. to, to have as as an audience member, you guys like, I knew that guy when he started out, and look where he is now. Right. Yeah. So Dallas. Okay. So people don't know this. I mean, not a lot of people know this, but Dallas has a really hot comedy scene. We have, you know, eleven plus clubs. We have major theaters that bring comedy. We have four to five open mics a night that you can find all around the DFW area. We have a lot of committed comedians that constantly do the grind. Um, we have people here that are, they're waiting to be discovered um, that are so amazing. I mean, we recently had Ralph Barbosa, for instance, um, who's a part of our scene and he just took off and went crazy. Um, and now he's just, you know, he's touring all over and every single show that he does sells out and he, he's, he's awesome. Um, but as far as our scene is concerned, um, we just have um, a really, it's, it's truly amazing. And they say that Austin is um, becoming like the LA or New York now. Um, and it is, and it's cool. And I've visited, um, you know, in, in the Austin area. So Texas as a whole is amazing in comedy, uh, especially Dallas, Dallas, the, the, quality of the comedy that you're going to see from a local comic um, that has been doing it a while that is season um, is going to be excellent. And so I'm super proud. And I visited all over um, to see the different types of comedy. And, and I can tell you that we are definitely one of the best. Where can people get their tickets? They can find their tickets on our website, plainocomedyfestival.com. Perfect. And they can see the lineup there as well, I'm sure. Yes, you can see the lineup there. Um, and you can see our schedule. Um, just a lot of information on our website. <clears throat> Perfect. You got it. And we'll have a link for that on krld.com. That is uh, Brittany Goss today here on the KRLD Afternoon News. Thanks so much. Thank you so much for having me. All righty. Don't forget, uh, Plain Old Comedy Festival coming back for its sixth year, October 22nd through the 29th.